guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agi and today I'm going to be answering all your Alibaba questions the first video that I made was on Alibaba I was showing you guys how to ship from China to Kenya through Alibaba and since then I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys and by the way if you ever have any questions about shipping about buying from China from Alibaba and shipping to Kenya you can always reach me or follow me on my Instagram at Wonder Woman KE I'll be able to answer all your questions as I'm doing today so most of you guys have actually answered your questions as you asked me and I've already given you given your feedback but there are a group of people who could probably have the same kind of questions that you guys have been asking me that is why I have decided to make this video and also because the questions have been too much and sometimes it's just the same question everybody is asking me like you can get the same questions in different variations but from different people so that is why I thought it would be wise to actually make this video for you guys today so in case you have the same questions you don't have to go asking me again and if you haven't watched the Alibaba video that I first made Kindly excuse the noise in the background. I have kids in the house and therefore you're just going to have to hear them screaming once in a while. So basically, I did that video some time back. I think that was my first video that I made on Alibaba. And so far so good. So many of you really appreciated it because... You know, there, there are very few people who can share this kind of information with you, even people that you know. When I started, I remember I kept, you know, googling and asking people and I didn't even know what to do. I didn't even know how to make my payments, but I'm so grateful that you guys have really liked that video and you guys have, you know, have really given me a positive feedback so far, so good. But uh, because of the questions that so many people have been asking me on my inbox, I have decided to make this video today. So I, I won't be able to answer all of your questions, but I'm going to try to answer as many as possible. And like I said before, if you ever have any questions uh, regarding anything on my channel, you can always follow me on Instagram at WonderWomanKE. So that way you can, you'll be able to DM me so that I'll be able to get in touch with you or answer anything that you are going to ask me on my instagram so right here with me i have my small notebook that i noted all the questions that you guys asked me since i'm recording with my phone so once in a while i'll be i'll have to read the questions uh here but i'll also try and put them here on the screen so that you guys can believe that they're actual people who have actual questions because some of you might just think that i'm making these things up so i have the quest some of the questions written here that i'm going to answer today so the first question that i got and this was in my on my email kindly if you have a question please always reach me on my instagram follow me on instagram reach me on, on my instagram page that way i'll be able to answer your questions quickly because i'm always there but sometimes when you use the email i check like probably once after every two days so it would take longer for me to answer your questions in, in case it's really urgent for you so the first question i got was kindly advise how can i register my credit card for alibaba pay answer that question and i'm gonna ask answer as best as i know according to my own experience i don't know how other people do it out there but i'm just gonna give you exactly what i know or exactly what i did so when i got to my bank i told them i wanted to open an account because i did not want to use uh, the same account I have for my for my own personal use for you know making online payments because you know it's never that safe yeah so when you get to your bank tell them that you want an account and you need a credit card and uh, kindly make sure that you let them know that the credit card you're gonna use for online payments ask you how much do you think you'll be spending every year for that card uh, so you'll have to indicate there how much you'll be using and make sure it's a huge amount because the first time I went to the bank I actually didn't know that and I just put there I thought I would put the amount I was going to use that day so later on when I was trying to make payments I wasn't able to I wasn't able to make any payment because I had exceeded the amount I had put on that card that is when I found out that you have to put an amount an amount that you'll be able to spend uh, throughout probably a year I think I think it's a year I don't think it's a month I think it depends with the bank that you'll go to but personally I went to equity they'll open up an account for you and then they'll give you that card that you'll be using to do on to make online transactions so what you will do is that you will take your card you'll open a PayPal account and on that PayPal account there's a section where they asked you to put 
uh, your card number or your card details there you'll be able to put your card details when that is done it's uh, sure that you'll be able to make online transactions you can you'll be able to make payments uh, to your supplier quite easily so I'm gonna narrow it down for you guys because I'm very poor when it comes to explaining stuff like this to people but I'm gonna try my best because I really want to help you guys out there who want to make like online transactions but you don't know how to do it so you just go to your bank tell them you want to open an account they'll give you a credit card make sure you indicate a huge amount that you'll be spending every year and then when, once you get your credit card, you'll go open a PayPal account. And on that PayPal account, there's a section where you indicate your, your bank details, the card number, everything. I think, you're, I think that's all that you are supposed to indicate. And then after you put all that and everything is done, you'll be able to make your online transactions. So another question I got was, would you mind if I ask you two questions? So if I'm shipping accessories like necklaces and bracelets, do I really need to request for a sample or I just, or I just with, oh, or can I just, uh, with ordering a few products like 50 instead? So you can always ask for samples and that will also depend with your supplier, but sometimes you'll have to pay for those samples. So you can just... I would really recommend that you uh, order a few first and see how their products are. And once you're contented and you're happy with how the products are, then you can order more. Because sometimes you can order a lot of things. For example, like dresses. There's one time that I ordered a lot of dresses. And on the pictures, in my mind, I had like, uh, the dresses had like a certain fabric, like heavy cotton. But when the dresses were here, the fabric was completely different and I was so disappointed. But anyway, what you can do is just order a few samples and when you're contented and happy with how the products are, then you can order a lot more. I think that will be the easiest thing to do or the best thing to do. Another question that I got was also, how does the shipping work? Do I get the address of the shipping company and send to the supplier? Yes, you have to get the address of the shipping company and send to your supplier. Once you have bought everything and you have paid for everything, you have to let your supplier know where the shipping company is by giving them the address uh, of the shipping company in China so that they're able to deliver your goods to that shipping company. And they will always ask for a fee to, you know, to ship uh, or to... I don't know if it's to mail the stuff to the shipping company. So they will always ask you for a small fee. So just I know that it's normal for them to ask you for that. Sometimes the first time they asked me for the money, I quite didn't understand why I would send them that money. You have to actually give them the address of your, of your shipping company so that they can take your goods to the shipping company. And sometimes they will always ask you for a small fee that they'll be able to use for transport to take your goods there yeah i hope that is well answered i don't know if i've answered uh that question the way i should but i i think i have another question i got was how do you top up cash from your bank to your paypal account so this is quite simple once your card is connected to your paypal account Anytime you make a transaction, it's just going to deduct like automatically. You don't need to do anything. You'll just probably get a message from your bank that a certain amount of money has been deducted from your account. And it's just automatic. Like you don't need to do anything. You just have to load the cash on your bank account. And once the two PayPal and your bank account are linked together, when you make a transaction, it just deducts like automatically. I hope that question is answered in case you're the one who ans asked me that question. The question that I got was, uh, let's say I'm shipping goods worth 30K. Do I pay Alibaba first the 30K through PayPal? And then when they take the goods to the shipping agent, now I'm charged separately for the shipping cost? Or do I pay everything to the shipping agent? Now, uh, once you've ordered for your goods uh, on Alibaba, you have to pay your supplier separately. So after your supply, after paying your supplier, then your supplier will ship your goods uh, or will, sh will take your goods to the shipping company. And then your shipping agent will call you and let you know that your goods have arrived. And you have to remember that when you are 
paying your supplier always make sure that you indicate the correct address uh, your phone number and so make sure you give enough details that someone can reach you through in case you know probably your phone is off they have an another number to call i don't know but just to be on the safe side make sure you indicate the correct address and the correct phone number so when the, your supplier takes your goods to the shipping company or your, to, to your shipping agent, your shipping agent is going to call you and uh, will let you know of the amount that you're supposed to pay for shipping. Now, this is the amount that you pay for shipping and not the amount that you uh, pay your supplier. You pay twice. You have to pay your, your supplier and you have to pay your your shipping agent they'll give you a quotation on the amount of money that you're supposed to pay and what i'd like to tell you guys is that um uh it will vary you know uh when you're shipping by sea they will uh they will measure in volumetric weight but if you're shipping by air they measure uh, or they give you an estimate or the amount of money that you're supposed to pay according to the actual weight. So by air is actual weight, but by C is the volumetric weight. Yeah, because I've had a lot of people complain lately that, oh, I called the shipping company and they gave me a different quotation. I remember I made a video on the, on the cheapest shipping company in Kenya, but apparently right now because of COVID, you know, prices are high. So guys, I've also had a lot of questions regarding, you know, being scammed on Alibaba. So many people do not trust Alibaba because they always feel like they're going to get scammed. Yes, I would like to tell you that there are scammers on Alibaba, but there are a couple of things that you can do just to prevent being scammed on Alibaba. Personally, I've never been scammed before and um, you know, there are certain things that I think you can do just to prevent uh, yourself from being scammed. Uh, number one, I always trust my instincts. When I'm communicating with any supplier on Alibaba and I just feel like or I get that negative feeling or that feeling that someone is about to scam you. Uh, this will also depend on how you guys are communicating or how he's uh, talking to you. You will definitely know that that person is a scammer. And therefore, because you're not sure and it's your instinct, you'll just your instinct will just let you know that you're about to get scammed. So when I sense that, I just stop it completely. I do not communicate with that person anymore. Another thing you can always do is... Always keep your communication on the Alibaba Messenger so that if anything is, uh, uh, if anything happens, uh, Alibaba will be able to trace uh, your communication with that person on uh, through Alibaba, the Alibaba Messenger, and therefore they're able to trace who that person is. And they're also probably, they'll also be able to refund you your money in case you did not get the goods that you bought. Yeah, so I think always keep your communication on the Alibaba Messenger because sometimes you'll get suppliers who'll be like, oh, let's go and chat on, on WhatsApp. I don't know the other the other app they use in China. They will always tell you, let's go and communicate there. Kindly do not do that. In case of anything, you won't be refunded. So it's just better that you keep your communication on the Alibaba Messenger. So some other thing... Some other thing you can always do is to read the reviews. When you go on the reviews section on that supplier's page, you'll be able to see the reviews from other people. That will also help you to know if their products are genuine, if they're of good quality, because personally, the reviews have helped me a lot. It's just one of the best ways to know if a supplier is genuine or not, or if their products are good or not. Because, uh, especially if you want to buy things like dresses, because sometimes you're not too sure about the fabric of the dresses. And when you go there and you get and you read their good reviews, you'll be able to be at least more comfortable when making your payment. I don't know if there's another thing I'm leaving out uh, about uh, how to stop. Okay, most scammers, they will always tell you to, uh, I don't know, to buy for them a gift card or something. And they will always be rushing you to make payments. Kindly take your time to avoid being rushed into a bad situation. Take your time to communicate. Take your time and ask as many questions as, as possible. Because sometimes if your supplier is not able to answer your questions, then you'll probably know that this is a scammer. So try and ask as many questions questions as possible so that you're able to know exactly what you're dealing with so i think basically that's all 
that you need to look out for in case you want to know if someone is about to scam you on Alibaba or not. Uh, and also, I think I've forgotten one thing. Always use a verified supplier. Verified suppliers are the best. And uh, once a supplier is verified, it means that they're genuine. And uh, it's really... I don't really think it's possible for them to scam you. And in case of anything, they'll be able to uh, to refund you. Just as long as you make your communication on the Alibaba Messenger. There are so many questions that I got regarding, you know, uh, shipping agents paying for stuff on your behalf. Like you buy goods and then instead of paying the supplier, you send your money to your shipping agent and then they'll just pay for everything directly. Yeah, it's very, very much possible. There are shipping companies who do that. There is a group of people who are asking me like, uh, can I can I buy like one item on Alibaba? Well, I'd like to tell you that it's uh, it's not possible. I don't know if you can buy one item because basically every time I want to buy a few things, it's always very hard for them to uh, let you buy because Alibaba is basically a wholesale platform. Like you have to buy things on wholesale. So, but you can always communicate with your supplier and ask them if it's possible. They will give you the minimum amount that you can buy from them. I've personally bought around 10 pairs of shoes, so I do not know if there's any supplier who can sell uh, less than that. But you can just talk to your supplier and agree because sometimes you want like a bit of everything that they have. I think you can work your way out or you can talk to them and then you can come to an agreement. But basically Alibaba is basically meant for wholesale wholesale goods if you want to buy one item or two items you can always use aliexpress so basically i think i've answered all the questions that i thought were really important and really needed me to address most of the questions were repetitive and it was just more so the same thing and i would like to tell you that i've already made a complete video with every detail that you would like to know about shipping or buying from alibaba and shipping to kenya and if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to put the link in the description description box down below so that you're able to find it quite easily. You can watch that. I think it would be a better guide for you on uh, shipping or buying from Alibaba and shipping to Kenya. And if you ever have any questions, always feel free to ask me. Follow me on Instagram on one, uh, at Wonder Woman KE and i'll be able to get in touch with you as soon as possible and i really do hope that i've answered some of the questions that have been bugging you and um i think that's all that i have for you guys for today and i'm so grateful that you're able to click on this video i really do hope that this video is gonna be super helpful i'll still do more q and a's in case i get like a collection of different questions or things that i haven't handled even the questions that i've handled today i've already spoken about them and directed you and given you all the gist in the other video that i made the first video that i made on my channel so if you you're lagging behind and you haven't watched it you can also just go back and watch it and but still if you have um other questions you can always ask me on instagram you can always dm me on instagram and i'll be able to answer your questions as fast as possible so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i really do hope that i'll see you in my next video kindly don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to leave me my like thank you so much for watching this video today and i hope to see you guys in my next video